Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Once again, it is time for a power building training vlog and today was a leg day. Uh, we started off with back squats. I uh, ramped up to a uh, 405 squat today and kind of just stopped there. It felt it felt heavy enough. On a lot of these, um, as you guys know, for my power building, um, I ramp up to my uh, minimum training max, right? On, on the appropriate day, obviously leg day, we squat. And once we hit that, then I determined if I'm going to go up. And today, uh, I felt like, um, yeah, I couldn't really handle much more than that today. So I just did a nice, solid, deep 405 uh, squat and called it there and then went straight into uh, my hypertrophy work. Now, um, a lot of that's because I've got, got quite a few things going on right now. Um, and they probably didn't get the best night's sleep last night, but we still come in and get the training done and I'll get caught up on it later. But did you guys see there, like that looked relatively heavy and could I probably have gone up? Sure, uh, but I decided not to. I decided to just call it there and we'll see how we do next week. So then we went over and essentially I just did three exercises then abs. Uh, so again, belt squats, as you guys notice, my quads have been coming back up now that I'm doing these in a way that actually uh, builds my quads. And one of the things I've noticed, yeah, the handles on any of these, because they put you on, on kind of a pivot there, if you do not have a way to hold on to something, you simply cannot get the upright position and the depth that you need. Um, this has been lighting my quads up a lot more. I feel like it's helping bring them back up off some muscle memory. And I'm just going to have to push this for basic progressive overload. I marked this as eight reps um, in the description for these, even though it looks like I got nine those ninth reps were failures. Uh, like I, I absolutely could not get out of the bottom on those ninth reps without um, using the handles a little bit. Uh, so those were eight reps, right? Because that ninth rep, I could not, could not complete, complete it. Like I just felt like I stuck at the bottom each time. Uh, so we kind of had to call it there, um, but it felt good. We got a really good stimulus. Uh, again, felt like the quads, glutes, everything got some good work there. Uh, but for now, now that I'm doing this, um, I've progressed on this for a couple weeks, uh, getting used to this new movement of doing it, holding on the handles again, having put, put some handles back on this device. But it seems like it's reached a point, particularly uh, while I'm slowly leaning back out. If you guys notice, I'm probably getting a little leaner again. As I'm leaning back out, uh, there's going to be a bit of a fight to progress from that point. So I'm going to try to progress on it the best I can. Um, try to recomposition as much as possible to help get that squat back up. Because one of the things I have said, uh, I'm going to push my squats hard again, even though my goals are physique. My goals are to get leaner, to get more jacked. I do eventually want to squat 500 pounds again. Now, I don't think I will ever, ever at any point in my life care about going beyond a 500 um, but I do think it's a worthwhile goal uh, to try to get to at least 500 again, you know, to get back to that benchmark, uh, that five plate squat. Um, it would be, it would be behoove me to do so. All right. After that, I did barbell calf raises. Uh, on these, I went with 365 today. I managed to get uh, three sets of 12. The first set on these is always a little awkward trying to get set up, uh, get in the groove, get used to it. Um, and again, these I, I hit failure on these. Pretty much rep 12 was all I could get. Uh, so again, we reached failure, just kind of going down as deep as I can. Now, I've had people try to say stuff like... Um, well, why don't you try to use a taller plate mainly because it literally hurts my feet even when I've tried to use shoes and stuff. So on this plate, I get a pretty dang good stretch. Um, obviously, if you guys look, my calves are working pretty hard. It is more than sufficient to, to get the job done. And in fact, I, I feel like um, this it gives a very good training effect. And keep in mind, we're still getting uh, a lengthened position here. So again, it's, it's the case of working with what I have for the equipment of having to make it work and simply getting up on a taller block is really problematic from a balance perspective being pain on my feet because I know I've tried it and I've tried it even wearing shoes and everything um, not the best solution but using this plate uh, it's manageable um, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world because again we're standing on plates with a very very heavy weight up on top of my back but this is the sort of weights that I have to have uh, for me to get a good good calf stimulus because even when I've done uh, you know the really tall plates it, it's I still have to do a, a ton of weight on there to really get a stimulus because my calves are pretty big and pretty strong you know unless I'm going to do crazy high reps you know which could be an option that I could look at again but I've been doing a lot of just body weight calf raises for you know 100 rep sets here and there on off days uh, you know just to help with energy burn calorie burn 
And so we did our three sets of calf raises, and then I did uh, my leg extensions on the reverse hyper. So on the reverse hyper with the leg extensions, um, I'm focusing on, on the, the situation to where I lay back a little bit more to try to get that, that extra stretch in the quads. Um, and I've seen a number of, of uh, you know, different people out there suggest this, physiologists and stuff. And so, yeah, I thought I would try it a little bit uh, back and started doing it. And lo and behold, I do feel it a little more. You know, whether that's completely true or not, I'm not sure. But from a physiology perspective, it does make sense. So it's one of those things to where we can try a little bit, particularly, you know, again, when I'm on a device like this where I have that free uh, movement to do so, it's like, let's try it and see. Um, obviously, I hit failure uh, much sooner even with this lightweight doing that. So in that case, again, it's quite challenging. Uh, feels like it gives uh, very, very good stimulus. And again, pretty much not much else to say with this vlog other than that. And then I do a set of hanging leg, leg raises. So I'm going to let you guys finish watching the footage. So I hope it's been informative. And I'll talk to you guys and gals next time.